everybody welcome to my channel miss criticizer 2021 90 day fiance season 9 episode 12 biniam and ari now the episode starts with biniam is at home playing with avi having a quiet time until the big bad ex-husband Leandro walks in and he said I am here and I am here to shop with Ari we're going wedding dress shopping and Biniam is looking like I hate this man this ex-husband has the audacity to be around my wife but you know what let me be quiet I um, Biniam had no choice than to be nice to him. As they're waiting, Ari said, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling nauseous. And Leandro, out of nowhere, had to ask, Ari, when is the last time that you had your period? And Biniam was looking like this. And she said, do you think that it's, uh, do you think that I'm pregnant? And Leandro said, there's no harm in trying. You need to take a pregnancy test. And Biniam was looking like, dude, this mofo has the audacity to ask this question. Let me just keep quiet. And, and then Leandro also had to ask, when was the last time you guys had sex? She said, can you guys get me a pregnancy test? You know, Biniam cannot drive at the moment. So, uh, yeah, he cannot drive at the moment. So, Leandro, can you drive him to the pharmacy? So, both of them had to drive. The ex-husband and the current upcoming husband. They, as they were on the road driving to the pharmacy, then Leandro asked, oh, how would you feel about having children? How many kids do you want? And Biniam said, I don't mind. I would like to have a big family. I would like to have 10 kids. And Leandro said, you mean 10 kids? 10 kids? He said, yes. Then he said, I don't think that Ari wants 10 kids. That's a lot. I know Ari. I don't think she wants 10 kids. And Biniam said, dude, that's none of your business how many children we're going to get. And you think you know her better. If you know her so better, why are you not still married to her? These this people, I have to get through this. So, eventually, they said that, oh, no problem. Uh, okay, when we get home, we'll ask her. She took the test, and they were nervous, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then she came out, and she said, it's negative. And Biniam was like, oh, I'm got it. And she said, I'm glad, 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 glad that we don't have to get it done and all that. So Leandro was being messy. He said, Ariel, how many kids do you want? And she said, well, maybe I want a second one in the future, but one for now is good for me. And he said, well, Biniam said he wants 10 children. And Biniam was looking like, wow. Biniam was fuming and she said no I'm not ready for those 10 kids it's a lot and then Leandro said well I thought as much because I know you I know that you cannot handle 10 kids that's a lot you're not that type of person and I could see that Biniam was fuming fuming and I'm also saying the same damn thing like dude mind your damn business Again, is it the best Oscar goes to them? Because this cannot be real. I don't think this, these scenes are real. Give them an Academy Award. Because I don't understand how this is real life. It's one thing to be cordial with your exes. Best friend. Wedding shopping. Him asking you when was the last time you guys had sex. How many children do you guys want? When was your last period? 
Oh, Ari doesn't do that. Ari doesn't like it like that. Ari wants her cupboard white and clean. Ari wants to have the kitchen fully laminated. Ari's favorite movie is Top Gun. Ari's favorite musician is Lady Gaga. Ari does this, Ari does that. I was always the better husband. I was always the best husband more than you. I've known her for 10 years. You've only known her for three years. I know her ins and out. Her family loves me. She doesn't love you. I am the man that she is supposed to be with. I said that's what Leandro must be saying in his mind. He just doesn't have the guts to tell her. And I'm like, Leandro is just out here be being maybe a spy for Ariel and her family. They're using him to fish out information. That's just how I see it. But they, they, they're just a hot mess. So eventually, we fast forward. She goes on date night with um, Biniam. And she tells him that, listen, you know, um, we need to still fix so many things in our lives because we're not ready to have more children. I know you said 10 children, but that's just ridiculous. I'm not ready. I'm not in good terms with your family. We are struggling financially. So we need to fix certain things. And he said, it's no problem, but it's just the way we are. It's like, when the children come, it comes. You know, the children, it comes. We just have to take it the way it is. And I say, Biniam, dude, you see, look, everybody with their choice. If they want to bring kids in their world, do it. But I just think that's child abuse. I'm sorry. I feel like if you're not financially ready to have a kid, don't bring them. Don't bring them into this world. Seriously. It's just a hot mess. Anyway, she said, we need time. And I'm not sure if this 90 day is enough for us to get married. We need to see how things go. We still have challenges. We're still struggling. How are we going to do this? How, is it? Shall we ever get married? Are we really meant for each other? And so when they were talking about the multiple children, then Ari made it clear to him and he said, well, you've got two. And I completely forgot. I completely forgot that Biniam has a child in the States. He's a deadbeat father because the mother kept him, kept the child away from him. And we haven't heard anything of that child. Is there ever going to be a storyline regarding that? Because that's going to be so juicy. I'm looking forward to that. TLC should try and milk their way through that storyline ever. Because I really want to see it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.